Cat, which turntable brands that we sell at Upscale Audio are 100% perfect? Mm, none. Hi, this is Kevin Deal from Upscale Audio, and today I'm here with Kat Orlin. Hello, guys. Hey, Kat is the manager of our analog department. She is the one that manages the team. She sets up the, the she sets up the all the tooling. She makes sure everything is happening. And this is my turntable. I'm taking home mm -hmm. on Tuesday. She's coming over. The employers are coming over. We're gonna have a party. Whoop whoop. This is my uh, Dr. Fiker Trio SE. We got a purple heart on it and a four point eleven. Hell yeah. And so I had Kat set it up. So why would I have Kat set it up? Because she knows what she's doing. I know how to set up a turntable, but I don't have the, all the tools at my disposal. I got old man eyes and I have very little patience, right? So I'll just break it. I'll do something wrong. And so that brought up when we were looking at this, I go, oh my God, Kat, thank you so much. And I'm glad I waited for you to do it. I said, why is it that some people are not checking the box? Yeah, no, it's good you mentioned that. So you might have noticed that we've added on all of our turntable listings a little checkbox underneath those listings that say, add pre-mount testing expert assembly, no cost. Make sure you watch to the end of this video so you can see me doing a time-lapse video on a Fikert and Kuzma setup. That's the deal. And look it, even turntables that have pre-mounts have problems. They don't play them necessarily for you. They don't check everything. And then they're shipped from overseas. You gotta know something. These are not made by Sony. These are not made by Panasonic. They are not like 100%, they're making a million of them and they're 100. These are handmade products and there is gonna be, sometimes there's gonna be room for error. And then they're coming all the way from Europe many times or across the country and things can go wrong. And who's it gonna go wrong for, Kat? <laughs> you guys. Only the ones that don't check the box. Yes. And then it becomes a very tedious process for us to uh, correct the problems. I mean, you yeah. have that dude with that, I don't wanna say the brand, we'll say it and you can believe it out. It was a guy, and frankly, okay, I'm gonna say the brand. It was a Rega and Regas are amazing. Right? We really don't have any problems with it. No, them. we don't. We don't. But this dude did, and he did not check the box. Which so is why is, this isn't a good example, because even the, the best manufacturers have a little bit of error involved. You and know? what happened with this guy? And he didn't have a left channel, um, and he was having some issues with it, and Jeff was so graciously, you know, he reached out to me, he told me the issue, we got on the phone, we troubleshot with him. Yes, there was a defect within the tone arm. It was, and, was the tone arm, but that was the cartridge. Uh, no, it was the tone arm lead. Oh, no kidding. But you know yeah. what? I got to say, Regas don't have that many problems, but it's going to happen to the person that doesn't let us check it for him. And then we had another yeah. guy. Oh, my God. This guy was a nightmare for me because he put a nasty review up. He said that we sold him a blemished VPI. And what had happened was we have uh, VPIs that we buy sometimes that are blemished, we purposely, they're tagged with a tag from VPI, uh, and then we sell them at a lower price, and people love that. I wanna get you a good deal if I can. If it's got a little nick on it, and you can save three, four, five hundred dollars, whatever it is, hallelujah, brother. Well, the sticker fell off of his box, and the other thing is, VPI sends us pallets of turntables. They don't tell us what serial numbers are there. They don't tell us which ones are blemished. So it went into ASOC, and this guy was, I mean, I, I gotta tell you, this dude is, yeah. he was a real uh, dick. Uh, and I'm just gonna tell you right now, because he accused us of doing it on purpose to him, right? And uh, I ended up giving him, this is the best part. I ended up giving this dude a $1,200 cartridge for free just to cool his jets and shut him up, even though the blemish was a $300 blemish. I gave him a $1,200 cartridge. He gets it, and one channel is out. You can't make this up. One channel supposedly was out, and he accused me of doing that on purpose, too. So I had him send it to Musical Surroundings because it was a HANA cartridge. They said, no, this cartridge is perfect. I gave the guy some money and I said, please, please go shop. Look, man, I like to have good time. And guess where that cartridge is now? Where is it? On my deck. Oh, I thought you said, I said, give it to a customer. I yeah, threw a Hannah ML. No, I just wanted to spin it a little bit and see what was going on. All right. Well, that's cool, Kat. As long <laughs> as somebody's, you know, it's a cleansing process is what it is to have you do that. 
Yeah. We love our customers. And Kat was saying yesterday about... Yeah, I mean, so look, we care. We don't have enough time um to to create this unnecessary drama or to to essentially lie to you guys about this we want to pre-test your tables and check them and make sure that they're leaving here with our blessing you used a word yesterday cat what was it intimate oh yeah we are very intimate with your setups and honestly i i mean i've been working for you for over four years now i don't even really consider myself sales i just i like to guide you guys along this journey right i think from a lot of my clients that interact with me they know that this is something where we can talk about the entire rig we'll put the four grand into something else we'll figure out where it is we are involved because we want to do it right once right and they're not on commission that's right. how we roll, so there's no stress. There's I no tell stress. People, make people happy. Take That's your time. That's all we want. But look, we because Upscale Audio has this massive movement of analog, and we're trying so very hard to make this the coolest thing ever, um, we have a queue. We have a process. We sell a lot of these tables, and we're doing about you know, five or six pre-mounts a day at this point. Well, yeah, I mean, but that doesn't mean we rush through them. I mean, no. I've got the greatest team ever. We take whatever time it is, but it can take up to 72 hours to get it out for you because nothing's going to... And we take photographic evidence. For those yep. of you that don't know, we take a picture to show you every turntable, whether it's a cheap one or an yeah. expensive one, they get the same attention to detail. Yeah. Anything else you want to say, Kat? Um, you know, this is for our, our existing customers and for new. Just just know that when you're coming to Upscale Audio for an analog setup, like you're going to be taken care of right. um, exactly like your own rig, or this, as if this was my own rig, because I just I want it to be great for you guys. This right is a on. wonderful experience. There you go. So look, go to our website. Just send us a chat, send us an email, talk to one of my great non-commissioned salespeople. I really want you to know, and Kat knows this because she knows me now. At Upscale Audio, we're going to treat your system like it's ours. Thanks. Say thanks. Thank you.